So you wanna learn how to generate some awesome buyer leads? Excellent, hey, it's Tahoe Tony and I'm here to show you how to generate the best buyer leads you've ever had. Just think how different your life would be right now if you had 50 buyers who are qualified and ready to buy in the next three months. Would that be awesome? It would change my life, I'll tell you that. And how do you do that? We just came off a serious several years of seller's market where houses were selling in a few days, having buyers, wasn't the best because every property had 10 offers on it and you were competing and bidding over prices. If you didn't have a cash buyer, pretty good chance you may not get your offer accepted. But the market shifted, it's July of 2022. We're now in a buyer's market. It's leaning towards a buyer's market. Sellers are negotiating, so let's get some buyer leads going for you. And the best way to do that in over 25 years of real estate experience, learning from some of the best people in the industry, I've learned the best way to attract qualified, excellent buyer leads is with a mega open house. Now you're probably thinking, geez, Tony, I've held open houses before and I didn't get very many good buyer leads. Yeah, but have you had a mega open house? That's the difference. And the difference between a mega open house is what this video is gonna tell you. I'm actually gonna break it down in a few videos because there's quite a bit of information here that I've learned from, from the best people in the country right now on how to hold a mega open house. So first of all, if you've got time, you might want to walk the neighborhood prior to do that. And why do I do that? I do that because I want to generate leads. That's the mindset I have when I walk a neighborhood prior to holding an open house. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk that neighborhood and I'm going to reach out to that person. Now, I just reached out to that person and said, hey, I'm holding an open house. Do you want to sell your house? Do you want to buy a house? They're going to shut me down. I'm not going to get anywhere with them unless they're an incredibly nice person, which rarely happens. Instead, I say, hey, I introduce myself, um, Tahoe Tony with the uh, EXP Realty, and that license number. And I say, I'm holding an open house on Saturday. And uh, can I ask, how long have you lived in this house? Oh, three years. Three years, great. So I'm going to be holding this open house. I don't live in this neighborhood. What do you love best about this neighborhood? So I can tell people when they come into open house that some of the neighbors, this is what they like. Now that person, now you're asking them about them and what they like instead of asking them if they want to buy something from you. Completely different mindset for that person. Most likely they're going to want to help you. If they don't, go knock on another door. The person's a jerk. You don't want to work with them anyways. But most likely they're going to help you and they're going to tell you how long you lived, how long they've lived here, what they like about the neighborhood, um, if they have plans to stay. If they don't, obviously you want to build up more rapport and ask them if they're interested in maybe selling their houses today. You know, you have to get good at that if it's the right time to ask or not, but I'll leave that up to another video. So walk in the neighborhood, you're gonna generate leads. Another thing when I do is I'll take, um, I don't get big flyers cause that's too much, but I get like a, like a light green paper or a light pink paper and I'll, I'll print out two things on it and I'll cut it in half. And I'll give them one of those pieces of paper that has the date of the open house, my contact information and that way they hopefully they'll bring that in the house set it on the kitchen counter table and then anybody else in the house might see it they might go oh yeah what is this great oh yeah well susie wanted to live in this neighborhood maybe we'll bring her to that open house or we can let her know so it has my contact information on there because there's chances are this listing may not be my listing so that's another thing if you don't have listings it doesn't mean you can't do open houses a lot of listing agents right now are getting calls from the sellers going, how come our house hasn't sold? My neighbor's house sold in one week and mine's bigger than his. Well, that was three months ago in a completely different market. So, but if a listing agent says, hey, I know I'm working hard. I want to do an open house on Saturday. The seller is going to be excited about that. So listing agents are very happy for you to get call, ask if you could do an open house right now. So the reason I give them a piece of paper with my contact information on it is if they drive down to the house and see somebody else's sign, they may be calling that person instead. And I've generated a lead for somebody else, which is not going to help your bottom line. And this is what this is all about. Okay, so we've got an open house plan. We walk the neighborhood prior. We've generally generated a little bit of internet, uh, some, sorry, some buzz for the property. Get the neighbors excited. Maybe they just want to see inside the house. Who knows? Anyways, you're driving traffic there. Another great way to drive traffic, because when you're doing a mega open house, you got to drive a lot of traffic there. So if you're doing a mega open house, another great way to drive traffic is make sure the property 
is on Zillow for an open house. And why do I say that? Because I know people, this is what they do on the weekends. They look and see what open houses are and they drive to see them just because that's what they do. So make sure you get that listed. If you're not the listing agent, make sure that they put it in the MLS as hold, having an open house on that property. And then you're all set. Now the day of the open house, you also want to do a, a Facebook live video. I think that works out well. I haven't had a ton of results with that, but I'm not a huge Facebook person. But the person I learned this from had amazing results. And the person that I learned this from, what he did, he was just standing in the driveway with the house in the background and said, hey, this is Tahoe Tony. I'm holding this house open. You got to come check this out. It's going to be open from nine to three o'clock today. You're going to want to see this house. It's got an amazing master bedroom. The kitchen is to die for. Come on down. I'll be here from nine to three. And they leave it at that. They keep it simple. They don't walk through the house. They don't show the entire house. If somebody sees the house, they go, oh, I don't want that. They don't say the price. If they say the price, I'm just like, oh, I can't afford that. Or, oh, that's too cheap. You're trying to drive traffic to the property, trying to generate buzz. You don't necessarily need to sell that property that day. You're trying to generate leads. So make sure that's your mindset. I'm holding an open house to generate leads. I want to get 50 buyers. If you had 50 buyers going, how many properties would you sell in the next six months? Quite a few, right? What would that do? Generate more, more sales more commissions for you, more financial security for you and your family. How much happier are you going to be when you know you have money in the bank, all your bills are paid, and you're planning a, a trip to go on vacation? Isn't that exciting? Isn't that what you want to do? <laughs> yes. If not, you're in the wrong business. So let's generate those leads. Let's go with the mindset. I'm going to generate leads. I'm going to hold a mega open house. I've walked the neighborhood. I've put it on Zillow. I did a live open house. Uh, a Facebook Live, and then finally, signage. Now, a lot of people will put out one or two signs. They put it on the corner. People are driving by at 40 miles per hour. They see the sign pointing to open house. They've already passed it, so they're not going to turn in there. I put out at least 15 signs for an open house. I'll put signs a mile back saying open house with an arrow forward. I'll go another 500 feet, put another sign, open house, arrow forward. 300 feet before the intersection, I've got a, a right turn arrow pointing. At the intersection, I've got arrows turning. I don't know if you're familiar with Incline Village, but I, even when I have a house up on Tyner, I'll have signs down on Lakeshore Boulevard. Why? Is somebody gonna see that and walk up to Tyner? Probably not. Somebody could drive up there? Possibly. But here's an added bonus too about putting out so many signs. People are gonna see your sign. People are gonna see your face. People see your phone number, if you have a logo or if you have a tagline, that's all gonna register with them. They need to see that many times and they'll start thinking of you. So if you do another ad and they go, oh yeah, I know that Tahoe Tony guy. I saw a sign on Lakeshore Boulevard. He must be a good agent, okay? So that's an added bonus about putting a lot of signs out. Another bonus, <laughs> the reason I put out a lot of signs and I've done this, I know this works from experience. It was a Sunday afternoon. I was holding an open house. It was a three and a half million dollar listing. There was a couple out driving around. They were in a ski lease with another couple and the other couple was at the property and the couple was fighting. So this couple, the other couple went out and just drove around to get out of the house because they didn't want to be witnessing the fight. And they ended up coming to my open house. So they saw the sign say, let's kill some time. We'll go into this open house. They fell in love with the property. They absolutely loved it. Three and a half million dollars. They wrote an offer. They had, they had their own agent, so I didn't double enter anything, but they had their own agent. But had I not put out all those signs, they would not have come in. I wouldn't have gotten a, uh, it wasn't quite three and a half million, but it's close enough. Anyway, so that's how important it is to put out a lot of signs. You never know who's going to be out there. So to review, if you got the time, if you really want to invest in your business, walk the neighborhood. Talking about security, if you can do that with another person, that's so much better even if it's a lender or somebody else starting out because uh, you just want to be careful knocking on doors, but that's a whole nother video. Make sure it's listed on Zillow and truly in all the, uh, the realtor sites that you're going to have an open house. Make sure you do a Facebook live video the morning of. Come on down, check out this house. Don't give all the details. Just give them a reason, a teaser that they need to come out and check out this house and then put out at least 15 signs. So that's when I'm going to stop on this video for the Make Open House. And I'm telling you, 
There's a huge difference between an open house and a mega open house. This is your business. This is your investment in your own time. If you want to do it right and get maximum results, I'm here to help you. I'm here to invest in your success. If you just want to put a couple signs out and do an open house from nine to one, you know, it works. People, people generate leads that way. But if you want mega amount of leads, keep watching because we're going to have part two and three and four possibly. And we'll teach you how to get a mega open house. You get some mega open houses this summer. And just think how amazing your Christmas and New Year's is going to be if you can generate 50 well-qualified buyers. It's Tahoe Tony. I'm investing in your success and I look forward to hearing from you.